Rob, you said in the aftermath of last week you wanted to see the boys out and playing some rugby. <clears throat> you saw that, didn't you, last week with a great performance opening week? Yeah, um, I think in a lot of ways we couldn't have asked for much more from them. Uh, the game had a bit of everything, had a bit of, uh, of, of quality attack from us. It had a bit of perseverance and some hard work. Um, it had a little bit of, uh, of kind of an attitude challenge when Bath started to come back to us in the start of the second half. Um, and then we finished the, the team as the stronger side as well. So, um, and we've obviously got good minutes into all the 23 players and, and we've come away with no injuries. So we got pretty much everything we wanted, ended up with a bonus point win which is obviously fantastic for the opportunity to progress with the group as well. You've talked about this being an opportunity, especially for some of the younger lads, to really stake a claim. You know, the guys away at World Cups, the boys yeah. that are coming back from rehab. It's a chance for them, isn't it? Oh, definitely. I mean, there's lots of reasons why it's an opportunity. Um, now, it can be an opportunity by playing well and winning the game, but it also could be an opportunity by showing really good characteristics when the game's tough and when it's not perfect. And that's probably what we highlighted in the run-up to the game. You know, don't be the guy who starts... You know, getting it wrong when it gets tough, because ultimately, you know, it's not going to be perfect the first game of pre-season, but you can be, you know, kind of perfect in your attitude and your endeavour to do well. And and I thought on the whole, we saw that through the majority of the team, the majority of the squad for for the majority of the game, and it's probably why we ended up ended up winning, which was actually incredibly important to us as well. You know, it was a it was a lovely day. There was three World Cup games on, and we had ten thousand people here watching uh, the first game of the season. That's that's a fantastic advert for how well supported we are um, and the draw that we have within the city. And when that happens, it's very important you get on the field and you perform well um, and you look to get win games of rugby. And I, I thought we ticked those boxes really well. It was, it was important to a lot of lads. It was a, a, big, a big first debut for them in front of a big crowd, a lot of noise. And I thought emotionally, most of them dealt with that really, really well. You talk about it being a big day, 10 debutants in the end. Um, they all had a point to prove, but that was here. Going away to uh, Welford Road, Leicester is a whole different ball game, isn't it? It's a it's a whole different ball game, and it's a whole new level of excitement in a way. You know, you think you're a, if you're a young player or a guy who's coming through the academy or a guy who's just starting to debut in the Premiership because you've you've come from overseas. Are there many better places to go in the Premiership than going to Welford Road? Well, there's not many. You know, it's it's an iconic place to go. It took us quite a long time to get to grips with it. You know, over the years, but we've we've had a few good results there. And what's important now is we go up there again and we show exactly the same level of effort and exactly the same kind of endeavour to try and win the game. But you know, we stick at things because I can't predict Leicester's approach to the game. I can't predict the team they'll pick. Uh, I can't predict how good they'll be on the night. But we can talk about the level of performance we want to put in and. That's what's going to be very important to us. You, you talk about it there, but they'll be your wounded tigers, and that's a dangerous side normally, isn't it? Yeah, but as I said, I, it's, it's so difficult to predict how teams are going to approach the competition. Leicester might well have targeted the final two rounds, um, and they're keeping their kind of their front line 25, 27 players um, ready for those games. They may have targeted their home games. They may be doing a full squad rotation. It, that bit is the bit we can't control. But what we can control is the guys, how they train this week and how they get on the field and their approach to the game. And that's the only thing we'll be focusing down on at the end of the week is trying to really lock ourselves down on ourselves and, and what we want to get out of the game. And obviously we want to go up there and, and win, but we want to go up there and play really well. And we want, to, we want to keep moving forward even at this early stage of the season. We talked about the youth last week, but also some of the senior guys really stood up. And one man coming in who I'd class as senior is Giannis Kirsten. Really good debut. Well, that's right. I mean, it's, important. it's as important for those guys making their debut as it is for the young guys. And I think what he showed was that the efforts he's put in in pre-season already really paid off. Um, his contribution throughout the game was first class, very high work rate, uh, really good physicality. Um, and he kind of, in a way, led us on the gain line for the large part of the game. And that was important to us on the day. Uh, I think I thought that combined with some of the set piece control we got early in the game, particularly around the scrum, was really, really important for us. So, you know, there was, there was, a, few, there was a few little things that really give you a foothold in the game. And, and Yanis's contribution was one of those things. And you've said this group will get another chance in this, in this week at the majority of them. Are you expecting yeah. more of the same from them? Well, I'm expecting kind of, as I say, the, the important thing is to be able to expect the, the same level of effort because you've always got something to work with. If guys have got a good attitude and, a, and a, uh, a good work rate, you've always got something to work with. You know, you can turn up as a coach every single day and know it's going to be a good day's coaching. That's what we've got with this group at the moment and that's the very minimum that we'll expect again come Friday night. And the other bonus from you from a coaching point, you now have some decent footage to finally break. You can do as much training as you like in pre-season, but it's not until you get games that you really start to see things and how they're working. Oh, 100%. I mean, 
listening to some of the conversations the coaches have had in their one-on-ones already. You know, I've grabbed a couple of guys for some detailed one-on-ones, which nowadays is pretty pretty rare for me. But it was it was fantastic to be able to take that opportunity because that's where we can really establish the foundations of being, you know, what an extra chief is about and what makes you selectable. Um, because it does vary a little bit. It's not. It's rare actually that it's the guys who are on the field and you see one or two brilliant moments are the first guys who come through. Actually, normally the first guys who come through and get some regular selections are the guys who can kind of do the A's and B's and get their basics really, really top class because that allows everyone else to perform. And I think being able to ram home some of those things um, was really important to us through the, through the week. And that will allow young players to really take it on board that what they're, what they're doing, we're seeing with great, de- great detail. And that the efforts they make in some of the hidden areas, like around the speed off the floor, uh, how hard they're working around the set piece, some of the stuff they're doing in the kick chase, that we really appreciate those things, and those things are really important to the contribution the team can put together. And it's been it's been great to actually be able to highlight that to to literally everybody in the team that you know there was some there was some real good efforts in there, but there's also some areas where we can keep getting better and keep moving forward.